like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Believe it or not, but some of the behind the scenes of movies are even funnier than the actual scenes themselves. A whole lot goes on behind the scenes that you don't see and funny bloopers are one of them. Which is why today we bring to you funny moments behind famous movies. We begin this list with a truly hilarious moment on set. Tom Felton's constant candy sneaking on the set of the Harry Potter films forced the wardrobes team to sew all of the students' pockets shut by the time they got to film The Prisoner of Azkaban. Tom Felton himself conceded to this by saying that the robes had these enormous pockets and that the rumor going around that they were sewn shut was absolutely true. He said that he was sneaking food and drinks onto set and that they think the other kids started following suit. The team would put their hands in and always find chocolates and sweets. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Saving the galaxy from the fate of impending doom and hanging out with some of the best Jedis in the business must be a tiresome task, so we don't blame C-3PO for wanting to take a little break. However, we can't deny that it's a little odd to see this robot surrounded by normal everyday people who are feeding him a drink through a straw. If he wasn't wearing the helmet, it would be no problem. It's the fact that he's drinking through C-3PO's mouth that is truly hilarious. It's a pretty well-known fact that the key to realistic CGI is motion capture. There are some flares and quirks regarding human movement that are simply not possible to recreate using raw graphic manipulation. Generally, one regular sized person is enough to get the movement data effects artists need. But for a character like Colossus, they need not one, but two actors. Greg LaSalle did the facial motion capture work for the character, while Stefan Kapicic performed body capture and voice acting. The facial capture was done right after Deadpool was finished filming, and the actor had to watch the footage and capture his reaction to use with Colossus' model. It seems strange that one actor would do voice acting and the other facial expressions, but sometimes mixing and matching skills is exactly what you need to create a unique character. When you look at these scenes, you'll be sure to crack a smile or two. This moment deserved a special place on our list for the true spontaneity of the cast and their priceless reactions. We all remember the scene from Friends when Lisa Kudrow is singing along as David Schwimmer is playing the bagpipes and everyone, but especially Jennifer Aniston, absolutely loses it. No one could hold it together. The thought of that blooper is enough to make anyone with a good sense of humor smile. I mean, the actual scene itself was good comedy, but how could the blooper not be? Next up, we have a most glorious moment caught behind the scenes of filming The Good Place, when Jamila Jamil bursts into a string of colorful language before realizing there are kids on set. As soon as she's done with her cursing fit, she said, oh my god, are Morgan's children still here and do they have headphones? Morgan was the director and for your peace of mind, we'll tell you, oh my god, are Morgan's children still here and do they have headphones? Yes, they do. And they were on set and they did have headphones on, thank god. Trust us, this will surely brighten your day if you were having a bad one. We remember when we saw it for the first time, and we lost it. Anyone who has watched the movie knows that the Rocket Raccoon was portrayed by Bradley Cooper, but what you might not know is that he wasn't even the man behind the suit. While Bradley provides the voice for the character, Sean Gunn, who also happens to play Kraglin, is the man who gets suited and booted for the filming of Guardians of the Galaxy. And if that wasn't enough to crush your superhero dreams, Drax has to pretend as though he's petting a raccoon, which happens to be an actual human being while the cameras are rolling. It's just too much to handle. Another most iconic moment happened behind the scenes of Stranger Things, when David Harbour couldn't handle saying the word grandma, and just like a domino effect, soon enough, Finn Wolfhard and Millie Bobby Brown were in fits themselves. Those of you that are fans of Stranger Things might remember exactly what scene we are referring to here. It's your grandma. <laughs> I don't know. One of our personal faves is this scene from This Is 40, when Melissa McCarthy unleashed an endless impromptu rant on Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann. 
What makes it so hilarious is the way she is in the principal's office blurting out whatever comes to her mind and Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann just continue to have laughing fits, but she keeps rolling with it, putting on a straight face. Her acting in this was exceptional. Phone. <laughs> That's what I would fucking love. Now we come to Reba. When Reba McIntyre's accent made her reading of the phrase chewing ice sound like, well, something else. Chewing ice. You know what we mean, and James Avery couldn't handle it. It was hilarious the way she kept having to repeat chewing ice, and it keeps coming out as chewing ass, and she lost it every time. Chewing ass. <laughs> ass. If you've watched the Harry Potter movie series, you know that Snape isn't really Harry's favorite teacher, nor is Harry Snape's favorite student. He does turn out to be a good guy at the end, but during their time in school, Professor Snape did everything he could to scare, intimidate, and even sabotage Harry and his friends. However, in this picture, you can see Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint having a laugh on set with the late Alan Rickman, who played Snape. We don't know about you, but this was a real heartwarming moment for us, and a tad funny too, considering how odd it looked. Alicia Silverstone actually didn't know how to pronounce Haitians in Clueless, but the writer thought it was so funny, she asked that no one correct her. You'll remember the scene when Cher said, hate I ands, instead of Haitians in debate class. Everybody started to run up to her to tell her she was wrong, but they were stopped. Well, the Haitians need to come to America, but some people are all... Marie Antoinette was the Queen of France before the French Revolution. She was also the one who allegedly said, let them eat cake, after she heard about her people starving without bread. Kirsten Dunst played the Queen in the 2006 film titled Marie Antoinette, and while it had pretty realistic costumes and sets, this picture doesn't seem like it was taken back in the day. But hey, being a queen is a stressful job, so why wouldn't they chill out with some iTunes every now and then? Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd starred in the drama Ben-Hur, playing close childhood friends driven apart by beliefs and vengeance. One of the most well-known scenes in the film is the one where they both take part in an intense chariot race. But we don't really recall a scene in the movie where the two are driving together on a Vespa. In the magical Harry Potter universe, Professor Dumbledore and Lord Voldemort are two complete opposites of each other, each of them representing either good or bad. In the movies, Dumbledore does everything he can to help Harry defeat Voldemort, but in reality, they were just two actors enjoying each other's company. The talented Michael Gambon and Ralph Fiennes seem to be having quite the scintillating conversation with one another on set, and we have to admit, it's pretty darn funny. Guardians of the Galaxy is a great favorite amongst many, partly due to its fun vibes, hilarious dialogue, and its great 80s soundtrack. But in between their stints protecting the galaxy, these superheroes like to spend their free time differently. Apparently, aliens and half-gods aren't exempt from being addicted to their screens, and Peter Quill's father ego also enjoys a well-deserved nap between takes. Tom Hardy plays Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Bane is as scary as they come, especially when you consider his formidable physique, his creepy mask, and his distorted voice that gives us the chills. But behind the scenes, Batman and Bane are actually pretty friendly, and they were laughing it out between takes. But if you really want your experience ruined, try hearing Bane's voice before it's digitally altered. This is the instrument of your liberation. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on future videos. This picture just shows you the true and slightly hilarious reality of filming an action-packed superhero movie. You don't really get to fight the bad guys. Sadly, you just spend most of your time filming in front of a green screen. And is that the Flash, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman we see right there? The fact that Disney is bringing some of their greatest movies into the actual world is one of the most exciting things to ever happen to us, but the behind-the-scenes photos sort of ruin the magic for us, albeit they do give us a good laugh or two. During the shooting of Beauty and the Beast, although Emma Watson looked stunning as Belle, we didn't really get the chance to see what Dan Stevens looked like when he wasn't a CGI beast. Well, we now have the photos to prove that he isn't a buffalo in real life, and we really don't know how Emma kept a solemn face while filming this movie. 
as we couldn't keep ourselves from cracking up looking at them. And that concludes our list of funny moments behind famous movies. Let us know in the comments section below which one of these you found to be the funniest. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon.